you can get a vegan burger, you can find vegan food pretty easy. You yeah. look pretty privileged here, you're not yeah. starving yeah, and having to hunt or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. You could, so you can make that choice, but yeah. when you don't make that choice, you're choosing to abuse animals. Yeah. me wrong mate if you can prove me on, wrong that uh, eating fish is cruelty to animals that's my that's my position I'm saying it's cruel to eat fish would you like to talk about it mate your argument is they're already dead you can you can all come here I don't care sit down mate is this for TikTok or nah YouTube it's just YouTube. I, I like yeah, having discussions right. with people. How old are you, man? Oh, I'm 15. 15. Yeah. I remember when I was 15, man. I, I'm 34 now. Oh. But anyways, like you're just saying, like if the fish is already dead, it's not really cruelty to animals. Is that what you're saying? Not really, no. Yeah, yeah. Because like it's already dead. There's no point for chucking it back in the water. Yeah, yeah. We should just, you know, use it for our resources. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So like, if there was like a bird that had you know, died a natural death and was on the ground and you ate that bird, that wouldn't be cruelty to animals, right? Well, no, but I wouldn't really yeah, eat the I bird. No, because no, it's That's your dead. position, that's what you're trying to say. Like, the, yeah, like, it's not, yeah. No, if it was dead, yeah. But yeah, yeah. I wouldn't personally eat a bird myself. Okay. But if I was actually like, you know, starving, then I would eat. Well, you eat birds, you eat chickens. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so you eat dead birds all the time. Yeah, that's Every right. single day. Yeah, that, I'm all right with that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so, but, but what I'm talking about, right, when yeah. I'm saying eating fish, is like, where do you usually get your fish from? See. No, no, where do you, you don't, do you go into the... Oh, no, I, I go to the supermarket. You, you go to the supermarket? Yeah, okay, yeah, so that's yeah. that's what I'm talking yeah. about. That's where most of you get your fish from, yeah. eh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah most of the fish you eat, you... Yeah, fish yeah. And chip, or you could go to the Fish and chip shop? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. I'm a bit so, of a veg, though, so... You're a bit of a veg? Okay. Cool to hear. Good to hear. Yeah. Like, yeah, basically, you're going to put your money into the fishing industry, yeah? Yeah. yeah. And uh, what happens in the fishing industry? They kill, kill the fish. fish. Yeah, they, they kill don't them. just kill them. They cause immense suffering to the fish first, and then they die. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure about that. You're not sure about the suffering that happens to fish. What What aren't you sure about? Let's talk about it. You don't think well, fish should suffer when they're dragged out of a uh, out of the ocean? Not really. Yeah. Like you know, not. I don't. I don't really okay. see much harm in that. Well, well, let's just say tuna. They get a massive hook in their face, don't they? Yeah. Wait, is it, isn't it fish can't feel pain? Isn't that like a thing? No. Where fish can't feel pain. Who told you fish can't feel pain? I don't know, ages ago. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, that's actually been scientifically uh, proven wrong. Fish have a central nervous system, a brain. Uh, they react to noxious stimuli, like, which is like pain. If you give, if you harm a fish and then give them like numbing cream, they'll, they won't act the same. They, they do react to pain. But fish have a biological like, mechanism to escape pain. So like they'll try to escape a predator. If you try to stab a fish, they'll try to well, yeah. escape that pain yeah. and they suffer but like oh, let's just say like there's a big trawling net you know what a trawling yeah, net is yeah, yeah. they drag much, up yeah. tons of fish from the bottom of the ocean yeah. and then they dump them on the on the deck of a boat right yeah. and all the fish that are underneath there they're suffocating and they're being crushed by a tons of other fish yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah and like do you think the act of like suffocating to death is suffering well I wouldn't say suffering, I'll say more like suffering is, you know, uh, being brutalised, like, you know, being bashed or something like that. But if it's for okay. maybe a good four seconds and then you're out, I think, yeah. Or well, they suffer for a lot longer than that. This is a fish being stabbed in the head? Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really... You know. Do you think they, that, that, do you think cutting their gills and that, that, that causes them harm? Oh, yeah, Pain? Yeah, but, you know... Do you think that's cruelty? Would you say that's cr animal cruelty? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you agree with the sign then? Ah. Oh. I reckon it's like, it's cruelty a little bit. Like, oh yeah, yeah it is, oh, but like... A little bit? Oh no, I'd say this. Probably the most cruel things do, we do to animals happen yeah, on no, boats no, to no, animals. Well, not really, because there's, you know, there's still, in Africa, people shooting animals with arrows. If they don't get those, you know, if they don't get those animals, they're walking around with bows, in, with arrows in them. 
their whole life. So I wouldn't really say it's the most crudest thing that we've done. I just don't really want yeah. to know. Yeah. Well, well, let me just tell you about, like, what were you going to say before we, we cut you off there? What were you going to say? I was going to say it's pretty cruel, but, like, I don't think it's the end of the world. Like, you know. Not for you, because you're not the victim, are you? You don't have a hook in your face, do you? Yeah. Yeah, you're not suffocating on a boat deck, are you? But I don't think I'll ever be a fish. No, but I'm, I'm asking you to empathise with other victims. Like, if you've seen a kid getting their head oh, yeah, kicked in, terrible. yeah, because you can empathise with that kid. I'm asking you to empathise with a different species. I reckon. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's not the end of the world for you, yeah. but for the 2.7 trillion animals that are killed in the oceans every year, it's a big deal for them. For them. I reckon it's cruel, but if it's going to, like, a good use, where, like, say, like, someone that doesn't have a lot of food is getting it, it's cruel, but it's, at least it's going towards a good use. Like, it's cruel, but it's also helping someone else okay. out. What are you we, we, well, well, we could talk about that, yeah, right. but let, let me just answer your question here of, like, it's fine if it's cruel as long as it goes to people to eat. Yeah. Is that your position? Yeah, like, maybe, like, you know, like, people that can't get a lot of food. Yeah. If it's going to them, then, like, at least it's going towards a good use. Oh, no, no, yeah, okay. Like... Have you thought that through? Are you consistent with that? Like, if it's cruel, it's okay if it's going to people who need food? Yeah, like if you need the food yeah, yeah. and they're killing it, it's like, well, they have to get their food one way or the other. Yeah, okay. Are you talking about survival? Yeah. Okay. A bit different, but like, yeah, like, so, like, do you need to eat fish? Are you in a survival situation now? No. Okay. So, you, what if it's cruel and you don't need to do it? What do you think about that? I mean... Yeah, I guess it's cruel, yeah. So it's just it's just needless cruelty. I will say, you have to you do have to actually eat meat. If you, this is all about meat. You have to really do have to eat meat as you're a kid. You can do it when you're actually like you can eat, you know, vegetables all your life when you're actually like an adult. But there's actually been scientifically proven that you have to actually eat meat to, to keep yourself alive, to keep your you know, your immune system, stuff like that to actually be alive. So So you're saying that scientists have now proven that you can't be a plant-based child? No, you can't. Okay, because you, what, what will happen to you? Because your whole immune system will just shut down. So you're saying that kids, if kids don't eat fish or animals, yeah. they'll actually die? I wouldn't say kids preferably. I'm saying like, you know, kids between like literally newborn. Oh, well, let's say a newborn and a toddler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what do newborns eat? Well, you know, they eat milk. Mother's milk, yeah? Yeah, mother's milk, yeah. Not from a cow. No, mother's milk's mother's, ideal yeah, yeah. food for them. Yep. And they can breastfeed for how long? I'm not sure. Maybe like okay. an hour or so. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so what did this study actually say that you're, you're citing here? Well, no, it's just saying that they actually have to eat meat and they meat. actually have to consume. What, what, is it, what is it in meat that they need? They need the, um, yeah, the protein and the carbs in you there. You need protein. There's, car there's no carbs in meat, by the way, brother. There's a, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Okay, so you can't get protein. So protein is the essential nutrient that growing children need. Yeah. Okay. Do you think there's protein in plants? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but still. So yeah. why can't we get protein from plants? Because I mean, it's not enough for them. Yeah. It's, it's not enough. How much does a baby need? Well, I, I'm not really. Well, they need more. So you're saying a full-grown adult can eat just vegetables, right? But a little kid needs way more protein than a full-grown adult. Yeah, because they're growing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, but how much? How, how, how much protein does a kid need? I'm not sure. Yeah, you don't know. Do you know? Yeah, well, it's less than what an adult needs, isn't it? Well, yeah, I would know that, but would you know I think that an average adult just that doesn't train needs about 50 grams to sustain a normal body weight without, like, I, extra I 50 grams. I think I have a question. But, but, but we'll get to that. I just want to get this protein thing, because you think that kids need to kill animals to grow or they'll die, basically, and you're citing some study that I've never heard of. Yeah. Yeah. But How old are we talking? Like pro no, 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 literally like newborns. Yeah. Oh, newborns have yeah. mother's milk, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, yeah. I like my, my niece, she's five and she's vegan. Yeah, yeah she's been vegan her whole life. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she's not dead yet. But like, I, like, so I'm just like, you're you're saying something that's not actually true. That's I all. I mean, it is, but right. Well, kids don't die if they're vegan. There's plenty of vegan kids. I know people have been vegan their entire life. Oh well, yeah, right. And then, oh, every single essential nutrient that you can think of come from plants. All right, but if, you, if this is. If this is uh, like, you know, harming the fishes and you're talking about harming the fish, what about the plants? What about them? Aren't you technically harming them by cutting them off? So isn't that also going against yeah, like harming? Do so, you think it's cruel? You can be cruel to a plant? Yeah, you can because it's a living thing. Yeah, plants are living, but yeah, yeah. do they feel pain? Don't ask me. Do they have a brain? No. Sorry? No, they don't. They don't have a brain, do they? No, no, no. So how are they supposed to perceive pain if they don't have a brain? 
Don't know. How are they supposed to experience anything if they don't have a brain? Don't know. Yeah. So why would you think I'd be I could be cruel to a carrot? Because you're planting it. It's taking it out of the ground where it's actually supposed yeah. to be. I don't care about a carrot. They don't. They don't perceive pain. They don't suffer. They don't have a consciousness. That's all right. They don't have a brain. All right. Or they don't have a uh, nerve. Uh, nervous system or yeah. pain receptors, yeah, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, yeah. But a fish, like a, a fish does, yeah. obviously. Like this octopus is being grilled alive. Do you think that's cruel? Well, yeah, I would say grilled alive. But you know, if you, if you immediately kill the fish uh, straight after you get it, I wouldn't actually say that's cruel. If you if you stab it like right where it has to be stabbed with like crabs, you have to. Yeah, so where you have if to. If someone stabbed me right where I needed to be stabbed, do you think it would be cruel to take my life from me right now? If it's gone to a good cause. It's okay to murder me if it's gone to a good cause. Well, it depends on what that cause is. Well, what about because you want a fish and chip sandwich? Well... But a Joey and chip. My name's Joey. So you want Joey and chips? But you could eat something else, right? You could yeah. eat like a... You could eat a vegan burger. Yeah. You could get vegan... I got a Lord of the Fries there. They got vegan fish burgers, right? Yeah, yeah. You could get that. Yeah. But instead, someone killed me really quickly. Yeah. So you could have me fried up with some chips. Yeah. Needless, you just wanted to taste. You like the taste of me or whatever. Yeah. Would you... Would, do you think that's justified? Yeah. I, I think that's just fine. Oh, yeah. right now. No, no, let me talk to these kids. Just wait. Have your brother. Yes. Good to hear, mate. What's your name? My name's Joey. But let me talk to these kids, man, yeah, and we'll talk a little bit. Me. Bless you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you for that, mate. 26 years. Vegan, he should be dead by now, eh? <laughs> no, but like. We do, brother. We do. Yeah. They will, brother. You're really big on YouTube, aren't you? How you're, do you know? You're fair. I've seen you before. My mum showed me videos. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you, is your mum a vegan? Ah, uh, she's vegetarian. vegetarian. Yeah. Yeah, so, what, what, so basically, you think it's fine to murder me for Joey fish and chips? Yeah. You know, I don't think you believe that, brother, eh? Well, I wouldn't say. No, no, you being honest with me, man, because like I, I'd be straight out with you, eh? Like I don't, I don't lie. I, I'd be straight out with you. Yeah. I, if someone tried to kill you so they could eat you, I would bash them. So they were incapacitated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would but, make sure they couldn't hurt you, man. Yeah. But the difference is, you know, fish and human. There's quite a difference there. I'll I say. never said that we were the same, but the things that matter are, are what I'm concerned about. Yeah. Well, the things that I've explained to you, like a fish yeah. experiences their reality. Yeah. yeah, they feel pain. Yeah. They don't want to die. Yeah. They avoid pain and suffering if you give yeah. them the chance. Yeah. And for these reasons, I think we shouldn't be exploiting and killing them if we have plant-based alternatives, which we do. One sec, one sec, let me, let me get his answer and then I'll speak yeah. to you. What was the question again? I forgot, sorry. No, I said, the things that we have in common are what matter. Yeah, yeah. we're different. Yeah, yeah? and you yeah. might not empathise with a fish. You, no, no. Well, they look completely different. They're alien to you, yeah. aren't they? They're alien to yeah, you, so you don't understand yeah. them, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah? But when you cut them in half, they're still squirming and he's felt yeah. that, yeah? yeah? They don't want to die. Yeah. Oh, no. And I'm saying for these reasons, we should respect them, leave yeah. them alone. Yeah. And if we have an alternative, which is like, you can get a vegan burger, or you can find vegan food, pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, look pretty privileged here you're not yeah. starving yeah, right. and having to hunt or anything yeah, like that right. yeah, yeah. you could so you can make that choice but yeah. when you don't make that choice you're choosing to abuse animals yeah i guess I yeah. you could say that yeah, yeah well, well, i was for years man I, I just come to that realization i was like i don't want to be an animal abuser i don't want to abuse the fish even though i don't understand them yeah. i don't want them to suffer on my behalf yeah. well you know you've you've done it before you've probably been fewer in my case you know i haven't grown up all so i don't know yeah what's the harm in it. Yeah. So, well, you know. I ate meat for longer than you've been alive. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was also doing bad shit. I was in drugs, I was into violence to, towards people and that. You know, and but I realised you're only 15. Benefit yeah. of the doubt, man. Like, yeah. you know, some 15 year olds are vegan, right? But they just no, haven't come no, across yeah. this information yet. No, yeah. They haven't thought about this. They just go through life mindlessly consuming, like I was, without thinking of the animals on the other end. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I still haven't got my mind really through this, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you think of the victims, right? Yeah. Being vegan's easy, right? Being uh, vegan, you might think, oh, it's a weird word. It just means you're against animal abuse in your actions. Yeah. Right. It's, a, you're, it's a philosophy against the abuse of animals, basically. Yeah. yeah. That's all a vegan is. Alright. Yeah. So, if, so if everyone on the planet, right, went vegan, yeah. wouldn't all the animals, like, overpopulate? So then... Yeah. So what, what animals? Which animals? Like like a horse or a cow or something. Wouldn't they like overpopulate? Why would a horse overpopulate if we went vegan? Yeah. Huh? Okay. Are you talking about domesticated cows that we breed? Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, we, you yeah. know, they're mass bred for 
They're, they're yeah. forcibly bred. Yeah. No, but I mean like fishes. Well, with, yeah, the fish, fishes, yeah, would they overpopulate? No, well, they could. Yeah, possibly. But, but, yeah, well, could, yeah. well they, uh, an ecosystem will only take as many animals as it can handle. Sort yeah. of no more animals will breed if there's not enough food for them to survive. So yeah. an ecosystem will only take as many animals as yeah. it sort of can, yeah, yeah. can handle. We don't have to worry about overpopulation. Right. What's happening now with cows and pigs and chickens is we're forcibly breeding billions of them and we're feeding all the plant food to them and all the water to them so we can have a small bit of steak. So we've got 74 billion land animals being killed every year, yep. only seven to eight billion humans. And land animals that we eat outnumber us 10 times and we're feeding them all of our resources so you can have a bit of steak. And yep. we're also abusing and murdering them. That's true. Yeah. yeah. All right. See, yeah. See where we're coming from there. <laughs> but uh, yeah. let me, uh, this here, look, there's a bit of fish facts for you. Watch Seaspiracy. This here is how to, if you need help being a vegan, right? Yeah. Yep. We made this, and if you can go, where do I eat? This app here helps you find restaurants. What can I swap my stuff out with? What are some good movies that, like, if you want to know I've about what I've happens watched, in farms? I've watched that. Dominion? Yeah, I've watched that. You did? Yeah. What did you think? Yeah, that's kind, of, yeah, kind of messed up. If yeah. you can sit through Dominion, like, uh, activists left cameras in farms and abattoirs. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, like, like as slaughterhouses? Yeah, yeah like, we, like yeah, we all eat animals. Yeah. Is that yeah. you? Like you've been to slaughterhouses? I've been in slaughterhouses before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 I have. Uh, well. But these, this is these investigations were done by yeah, undercover like, people. Yeah, like especially yeah. Like, kids, like, like no one like teaches you about this. Well, the, the, no the industry one. hide it because they want you to buy their product yeah. and they want to tell you it's all humane and that. Yeah. But, yeah. but yeah. Anyway, this is yeah. uh, this so is like, that. Are, are like any animals that we kill humanely, or are they all cruel? Like, well, the, the word humane means to show compassion, kindness, benevolence. I don't think it's humane to take someone's life from them if they don't want to die. Like if someone come up and killed you with a bolt gun really quickly and you didn't feel it, I'd call that murder and then I'd say it's an injustice. That's why we have murder laws. Yeah, can I ask yeah. something? What, like, I, get, I get like there's no like humane way, but if like everyone we eat, what do you reckon is the one that's like the, like, the most humane? Like, Vegan. Yeah. Veganism. Like, like, so say, like, there's, so you know how you eat cows, fish, and stuff? Yeah. Like, do you reckon, it, like, what do you think, like, the most humane out of all of them is that they're killed? Like, out of, like, every... Like, like I said, the fact that they're being exploited and killed yeah. means that it's murder. It's not humane. That word doesn't fit any of those. The best thing you can do to lessen your impact on animals is be vegan. That's... I wouldn't advocate for anything less. Like, if it was you on the other end of the bolt gun, I wouldn't be saying, oh, get him, he's been tortured less, kill him. You know, obviously... If you had two, two choices to make, one, an animal was tortured like to, to death. Yeah. The, other, the other, the animal lived a happy life and was killed. Obviously you'd want the animal with the less suffering, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you've always got another choice and that's leave them alone. Don't, don't torture them, yeah. don't kill them, just be vegan. Yeah, right. Yeah. All right, brother. Good chatting to you, eh? Take care. No worries. What's your channel? Joey Carbstrong. Yeah. Hey, bro, how do many, you wanna? How many followers do you have? 100,000. Take care, man. Hope you go yeah. vegan, mate. Yeah. Dairy and egg industries are disgusting, brutal industries, but yeah. I mean, I don't believe in the caged eggs. That's the thing that I don't believe in. You know, caged yeah, eggs yeah. Well, eggs. if you don't believe in caged eggs, that means you believe animals matter morally. Yeah. So they shouldn't be treated cruelly. So if no, you believe yeah. that, then you should also believe they shouldn't be murdered for you. I feel like it's how your parents raise you. Yeah. Like, if you care about how they're treated, you should care that they get murdered. Yeah, that's true. No matter how they do it. Yeah. Uh, but my mum still the vegetarian since she was nine. She saw right. a documentary when she, she was like, yeah, when she was nine, she saw uh, how the sh uh, sheep di Get, dies. That's uh, what she just told her. Yeah, yeah, like to uh, live export vegetarian. of sheep or something yeah, like that, something or wool like, industry yeah, or something like that. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, man. That's something we're very against, the live export. You should look into it, man, and make yeah, your own yeah. decision, mate. Yeah, you got will, you yeah. got two eyes, brain, heart, compassion. Yeah. Make your own choices, yeah. man, eh? Uh, thanks, Peace man. out, brother. Take care. Right. No worries, guys. See ya. And like, let's just say we could sustain torturing and killing animals en masse. Would that make it morally justifiable? Said we could eat fish, so there's nothing wrong with eating fish. No, God did not say anything like that. 